Well, hello, friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Friday, June 2nd of 2023. So, happy Friday to all of you out there. Happy first Friday. <laughs> Um, since it is the first Friday in June. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it's June energy. Like I'm already feeling it. It feels good. Um, so yeah, welcome to day two of June. So all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear the message. So if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, the divine, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So let's get into our chakra energies for today. So yesterday I posted most of the Zodiac readings. So I posted... Uh, to Capricorn from Gemini to Capricorn so I have four more to do today and to post so I will for sure be getting to those so to any of you who have watched the videos I would definitely appreciate like any feedback you have on them because I know that like I have so enjoyed doing the videos and the way seeing the way that the messages come out together has been just like oh yeah I've learned I've learned so much just by doing those videos and so and whenever I also feel like it gets me closer into that particular sign and like what they're going to be going through during the month so yes so I have Aquarius Pisces Aries and Taurus to do and so I will be doing those today and posting them today um, yeah it's like a whole big thing because I have to take them off of my tablet and so that it doesn't take up too much storage space and so I have to remove them off of there and it took like an hour to get them off to transfer the files and so yeah but nonetheless they will be totally done today and I'm very excited to see how the rest of the signs are going as well so if you have watched if your sign is posted and you've watched it let me know what you think, how you feel, and because it is a month reading and there's a card for, um, like, a message for each week of the month, come back. Come back and, um, you know, like, after the first week, see how that goes and then so on and so forth. So, yeah. But, yeah, I am learning so much and I'm seeing these cards that I'm using these chakra energy cards I'm seeing them in a different light as you know I'm seeing them in conjunction with how they're working with that other deck so yeah so anyways today's chakra energy we have the auric field of the etheric body so the etheric body has been coming up a, a lot for us lately and so I feel that there is definitely a lot of work that we're needing to do with within our etheric body and that and like what I'm feeling with that is that's like just another deeper layer of us you know working like through our chakras and you know okay so our chakras are good now let's work on our auric field, like the field that is around us. And 
I feel that we're being guided to work on this first one. So, the auric field of the etheric body, card number six. I now completely and lovingly release all of the energies that are not beneficial to my development from my etheric body. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, exactly. I, I didn't even read the card before I had said what I just said, but yeah. I now completely and lovingly release all of the energies that are not beneficial to my development from my etheric body. That is exactly how I feel, that we are being guided now to work on our auric fields. Um, like So not only like our chakras, but the field around us and getting now our auric fields cleansed and rejuvenated, I guess is what I was thinking. That's what I'm hearing is rejuvenated. So... Let's take a read, shall we? All right. Number six. I now completely and lovingly release all of the energies that are not beneficial to my development from my etheric body. Meaning, it is always important to very consciously let go of all types of energies that you no longer need. This conscious decision is necessary because there are many little sticky points within you that for one reason or another, which is not really important, want to hang on to the old stuff. If you decide that you want clarity within you, they will lose their power to keep you stuck in things that have long been outdated. You must make this decision very consciously and make it repeatedly for some time afterward. Otherwise, you will fall back into the old structures. Direct your attention toward the positive new things. Then the negative old things will no longer be able to cling, cling to you. Healing stone is rose quartz. The fragrance essence is cypress and stone pine together. And the box flower is pine. So, yeah. We are being guided to consciously make the conscious decision to let go of everything that is not beneficial to our development that is not beneficial to us being in our highest vibration that's not beneficial to us being our best version and when we make the conscious decision to do that that's that's the key is that a lot of people are going through their life on autopilot and once you start to consciously make decisions, you have more control over your life and you have more control over what comes in and what goes out. So when you are making the conscious decision, it's almost like you are like forcing, like forcing out what is no longer needed. Like you are saying, you're looking at it in the eye and you're saying, okay, I don't need you here anymore. You're not helping me. So I need you to go. <laughs> and that's what we're being guided to do is to let completely and lovingly release all of the energies that are not beneficial to us for our development. So that is the fabulous Friday energy and I think that that energy is completely fabulous so yeah so that is the message for this fabulous Friday it was first Friday <laughs> in June so I hope that you all found something that you resonate with in this message and if you did then please feel free to like the video share the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below if you so choose so thank you so very much for being here i love you i appreciate you stay tuned for the last four um zodiac signs and i will see you oh well look let's read this affirmation just one last time i now completely and lovingly release all of the energies that are not beneficial to my development from my etheric body. 
And with that, I will see you in the next one.